I wanted to talk about this Twitter post which had been blowing up over the past three days and I did some Google research on it yesterday and I couldn't find anything reasonably backing this but the post itself on Twitter has reached over uh, over close to 7,000 views, 235 supports, 60 reshares, and 20 comments. Um, apparently, there was a rumor that was floating around on Twitter from another user, and I tried to back this up through Google. Um, there was nothing that the official statement had been released from the venue. Uh, there's nothing from the official website, Equestria Daily, that they've reported. The news website that usually covers everything from, like, uh, let's just say controversies to people announcing their final year. They haven't said anything either. I don't know if this is indeed true or not, but uh, I just wanted to talk about the situation because it was one of the most craziest situations that had happened on Twitter almost all week. And before I get started, I wanted to discuss a few things. The first thing is I had met with Bahia Watson in person during our time at Everfree Northwest 2023, just like the other five Netflix voice actors that were our guests of honor that year. And Bahia Watson, Athena Karkanis, Jenna Warren, Joshua Graham, Anna Sani, Amanda Martinez, all those guys, they are some polite, sweet, energetic individuals, and they are just a pure blessing to be around. Um... I don't understand why there's so many people in this fan base that would be sending death threats or hate comments towards the producers, the screenwriters, the even the toy manufacturers. It is so fucking childish that people would be doing this type of, you know, federal level disgusting behavior. And this is literally coming from a guy that has spent over $6,000 of his own hard labor wages to help out a struggling venue in the Bay Area with their finances. Um, I'm not trying to add fuel to the fire, I'm not trying to start anything, but I just wanted to come out and point out that this has been just like one of the craziest Twitter posts that I ever made, and if this is indeed true, this is just pure stupid and absolutely uncalled for. It is one of the most degrading, disgusting situations that, you know, a lot of people, they have been supporting Bahia Watson over the past three days on Twitter, and there is a lot of love being sent her way. If this is indeed true, like I said, I couldn't back up anything on the official websites. Uh, the Twitter post is still blowing up three days later. And um, I just hope that, you know, she's doing all right. Because if it is indeed true that she felt so uncomfortable coming to the closing ceremony of the event after being told off on the, the main stage during the opening ceremonies, I feel absolutely so sorry for her because she is just an energetic, angelic voice actor. And it really fucking pisses me off that these polite individuals that work for this Netflix series have to put up with this type of disrespect. It is a very disgusting behavior. And uh, the post had slowed down a lot since like late last night, but it had caught the attention of even the design and publications artist of Bay Area who said this is intolerable, you know, unacceptable behavior from the community. And even YouTuber ACLP Films even agreed that this is some very disgusting behavior that people would be throwing towards, you know, any guests of honor. Uh, YouTuber ACLP Films stated on Twitter that people like this who do this type of intolerable action should be banned from future events. And I completely agree. I don't know if it should be for, like, just that event in particular or for, like, a permanent ban or just for, like, yearly ban or something. But uh, I completely agree that this type of action is intolerable in a fan base that is supposed to be, you know, a fan base based off love, friendship, and, you know, tolerance, not hatred and racism and whatever. Because it's pretty crazy, especially since I had met with Bahia. Uh, at the VIP dinner in Seattle last year, and she is a absolute angel. She is a polite, energetic, you know, sweet person, and it fucking pisses me off that we have some toxic people like this just starting shit. And I know we're talking about the experiences that are going on on Twitter right now with this whole situation, and I wanted to point out that none of the situations that I had been involved in with, like, six of the lead Netflix voice actors seemed of negative or malicious intent. They were all just amazing, energetic, you know, sweet individuals, you know, telling people that, you know, to never give up and always believe in yourself and showing some massive support. 
And uh, during this location, this was where the VIP dinner had taken place back at Everfree Northwest 2023, in which we also did have some discussions with Bahia Watson and Athena Karkanis before taking a table with Jenna Warren, Joshua Graham, and Anna Sonny. And both Bahia Watson and Athena Karkanis, they were both some amazing, polite, energetic individuals. Uh, I didn't really spend much time with them, but I did get the chance to speak with them here and there. And they are just some amazing, you know, great voice actors that, you know, just don't deserve this type of shit that is being thrown whatsoever. 